here at the Roller Team factory coming to pick up our brand new to home <laughs> 2017 model just a test drive unfortunately be nice if it was really ours hey we've got a whole line going here so we have to go and fetch our baggage this is where all the magic happens all the sides so cool together inside the motorhome factory where they assemble them all very exciting see this one doesn't have windows in it yet <laughs> So this is the model that we saw at the NEC Birmingham show. Got the front seats. Let's swivel around. It's got that lovely new car smell. So good. There's the dining area. Oh, you can close this. Yep. That keeps the doors open while you're driving. Is this clip or can we push it? kitchen washing up area with a little stove and fridge we'll just leave it for now a lovely bathroom area which has got a toilet on one side, a bit dark, and then to the other side is the shower, and then it comes round to the bedroom at the back <laughs> with the island bed. Looks very cozy. There's quite a bit of storage in the stairs, Some cupboards next to the beds. Overhead storage. I think that's like lights. A yeah. And then the garage is underneath, a nice huge big garage. Is this the garage? <laughs> You're climbing down to the garage. I think that's where you need to sleep. No. <laughs> well, she will be sleeping in that bed up there, which drops down over the dining area. So we'll give that a try later. <laughs> good morning welcome to nice sunny Italy so far so good our first full day we went and picked up our van yesterday so we're test driving a brand new roller team back to England so we're gonna go across Italy France Switzerland but we'll show you a map because I'm completely directionally challenged so last night we found this camping spot which is on the there's an app which is a, a bunch of free spots that you can stay at which is quite handy to have easy to find. Little is just down the road that way. So we stopped here after the factory, uh, picked up some groceries and literally we just pulled in here and the, the camping site is free. So we did share the spot with a couple of others so we felt a bit secure on our first night. So we were told that there was the electric hookup so we came and checked it out last night and it says over there that it was one euro so we scrambled around to get a euro but when we put it in it wasn't working. And then there was a local guy who was busy filling up his water in his motorhome on that side over there. And he said it's free. So we like, but it says one euro. He's like, free, free. And of course he doesn't speak English or we don't speak Italian. So we thought, give it a go. So we plugged in over here. It all came on. So he was right. It is actually free. So our electric has been free all night. I mean, it's on a main road. So there was a little bit of road noise and... I think a couple of drunk Italians got into it in the middle. Yeah, of the got night. into the Italian sports cars clearly because there was some serious noise yeah. going up the road. <laughs> but you can't complain. It free is free, isn't it? So it gives us a bit more money to spend on other things. Reeling in the electric hookup, getting ready to go and use the other facilities. And that's the little where the LPG is stored. Turning off the gas. Turning off the gas while we travel. And the electric hookup is stored there. Is the garage unlocked? 
because I didn't get to do the garage yesterday. Uh, it was on the other side, yeah. Okay. That's where the so that's where the electric hookup goes. Yeah. All right. Good maneuvering. We managed to get over the grate. Katie's directing with her staff, Gandalf. Oh, is that just a little tap that opens? Yeah. Okay, just step to the side a bit, your shadow's in the way. And there's a grate under there that it all just flows into. Not drinkable water. Yes, because that's for showering and stuff. Right. So, yeah, you're not going to drink the water out of the tap in the motorhome <laughs> by drinking water. <laughs> well, there goes the last of our 100 litres down the drain. <laughs> Time to top it up. <laughs> there, Katie, go hold there. We don't have the fitting, so we're just going to have to do it the old fashioned way and hold it. <laughs> Get really wet. <laughs> yeah. Old fashioned way. I don't think this was ever the old fashioned way. Just hold it on the tack. <laughs> How do you know when it's full? I don't know. I think another reason I can do is because. Um, I had to use both of the blankets and I used the white one for a pillow. Oh. So I had to take the blanket off, so then I had to only use the black one. So you slept in two onesies. <laughs> oh well, glad you made a plan. Good job for independent thinking. Right, this garage. As you can see, the garage is a really nice size. Our bed's literally above there. You can uh, lift this flap and see into the bedroom. Ooh, a spy hall. And there you can clip the doors open while you're traveling to, that's the toilet and that's the shower area. And yeah, you can fit a TV over there. And then that flat closes to keep the cold air out, in theory. And then you've got a nice big garage, which uh, we should get a similar model. Well, we definitely want a big garage. That's one of our prerequisites because we're gonna have a lot of rubbish carrying around with us tables and chairs and probably going to need to get some kind of a cupboard going in here for clothes because there really isn't much packing space inside. Okay, we've got the street cleaner here making a huge noise. Oh yeah, definitely there. Yeah, you see, that's what I said, it's disgusting, isn't it? I don't think this is something we want to video though. No. No. Yeah, we, I think we'll spare you guys from this disgusting part, but basically I think everybody's been tipping their stuff into there. Okay, now we have to do the pre-departure checklist. So, so we showed you how to turn the gas off. Um, we need to make sure all the latches are in place. Make sure all the windows are closed. I've already checked all the little um, hatches at the top are all closed. All the cupboards are shut, all the buttons are pressed in. Did we take that tray out of the oven that was rattling yes. around last night? I've packed it in there. Okay. Um, fridge door is locked. That yeah. is a lock. Yeah. Okay, fridge door locked. Fridge switched back to 12 volt battery. To do that, you just got to switch the screen on and then you can cycle through your steps. That's gas, that's hookup, and that's 12 volt battery. I'm turned up to four.